from Indiana's news leader. This is Channel 13 Eyewitness News at noon. Talking about money is often a difficult conversation to have with your parents. Today, a husband and wife teach us how to leave a legacy. Dr. Carolyn Friend and Dr. James Weiner wrote this book called The Legacy Conversation, The Missing Gem in Wealth Planning. They join us live in studio. Happy Valentine's Day to both of you. Happy Valentine's Day. How do you begin a conversation that has to do with money, but this, this idea of legacy, how do you begin this conversation? The conversation is when you start just talking about things that really matter to you, that you and that people get together and that families get together all the time. And you start to think about what it is that really matters to you and then you start to engage the next generation, everybody at the table about what's what's going on. And you've got cards that actually help those conversations, right? We do. We created a deck of cards called uh, the Conversation Starters and what we do is we have people we facilitate that sometimes in, and say pick a card and read the card out loud and answer the question. If blindfolded for a day, pick a family member as your guide. Right. So now you start to get into family relationships. <laughs> and I was very surprised when we played the game. She didn't pick me. She picked our youngest daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Made you feel like left out. Now, the, the, you, you talk in the book about these legacy dragons that are out there, things that get in the way, things like envy and jealousy. Uh, power struggles. How do you slay these dragons? Well, you don't ever really slay the dragons. The real object is to be able to manage the dragons, to be able to figure out how to control them, because um, a lot of times in families, people feel like they don't have a voice. They may go to Thanksgiving dinner, they may go on vacations, but when it comes to things that are really important, they don't feel that they're heard. And simply being heard can make a huge difference. Of course, uh, when you've got aging parents, you want to have these conversations now in terms of making sure their affairs are in order. But these are things that we really need to have these conversations right now, don't we? Absolutely. We, we believe that everybody wants to say something to the family. Everybody wants to be involved with the family. And so you begin that conversation today. And you begin with all generations and you get everybody talking about what really matters to the family because those people that have created the wealth want to know that the next generation is going to take good care of it. Mm. The next time we get our family together, what is the first thing that we should begin to do to start having this conversation, this dialogue about having a legacy? Well, the first thing to do would be to um, go around the table and ask everybody, um, what's important um, f for other family members to know about them mm. and what they really like to share and what if you know a hundred years from now somebody found out about the family wh what would they want that those people to discover and find out and what would the second thing be the second thing would be to say if you are this age today in 10 years from now, how old would you be? Like we said, our grandson who's five would be 15. What would the family be like? What do you imagine would be going on? So people can start thinking about the future in a very concrete way. Mm. We've got some signed books of the Legacy Conversation, The Missing Gem and Wealth Planning. We're going to give some of these away on our Facebook page today. And also the Conversation Starters, the deck of cards that uh, were referred to. It's great to have you both here. This is an important conversation for all of us to have with our families. It's nice to have you both in. And again, happy Valentine's happy Day Valentine's to you. Thank, Thank you so much. And we've got a link to their uh, book and information on <laughs> WPHR.com. Coming up on the Health Beat this afternoon, we'll be talking about the benefit of berries.